Hi, and welcome to the tutorial series for the MX200 Digital Readout by MetLogix. In this video, we will be covering a basic overview of the MX200 Digital Readout, including the screen, screen contents, buttons and keypad, basic navigation of the user interface, as well as mounting options and ports and connections on the rear of the readout itself. We'll begin by taking a look at some of the physical characteristics of the readout. As you can see, we've got a full color display here, along with a rubberized sealed keypad. All functions in the readout can be operated either by pressing the rubberized keypad or by interacting with the touchscreen itself. In the screen itself, you'll see the basic layout consists of a bottom toolbar, a top toolbar, the main digital readout window, as well as a feature list on the left side of the screen where features are displayed as they are probed and constructed in the system. Buttons in the bottom toolbar can be executed by pressing the soft key that's directly underneath those buttons. On the right hand side of the keypad, you'll find our arrow keys. The arrow keys can be used for navigating things like the setup menu. as well as some of the data entry screens in the software. In the bottom right of the keypad, you'll find the command keys. Enter, finish, cancel, and quit. We can use cancel and quit to exit setup screens, enter to accept data entry into fields, and finish to complete measurements and accept new settings or entered values. To the right of the screen, you'll see our three zeroing and command buttons. Use these buttons to quickly zero the current DRO. In the bottom left of the keypad, you'll find our screen on, screen off button. A single click turns the screen off and on quickly, and a long press brings up the menu to shut down the DRO. Here in the middle below soft key number six is our menu key. The menu key allows us to cycle through additional options that can be executed using the soft keys. The functions that are available in the soft key positions can be customized in the desktop settings screen. If you do not see one of the functions in the soft key positions that you're looking for, simply navigate to the MX setup menu using the MX button, enter setup, and scroll to desktop. In the desktop menu, you will find each of the supported functions that can be mapped to the top or bottom toolbar. Simply choose whether or not you'd like to disable that function with the no soft key, add it only to the top toolbar with the top soft key, to the bottom toolbar only with the bottom key, or to both the top and the bottom toolbar. Press finish to accept your choices. As you can see, this DRO is mounted with our desktop stand. We also offer a RAM ball mount option as well as an OEM arm mount. Check the comments section of this video for links to helpful literature that gives more detail on the mounting options for the MX200 digital readout. Next, we'll take a look at the backside of the MX200 readout. On the back of the MX200 digital readout, you'll find our USB port, 
which can be used for importing and exporting settings, datas, and part programs, as well as three physical encoder connection ports, one for the X axis, one for the Y axis, and one for the Z or Q axis of your measuring system. You'll also find our general purpose I.O. port for serial output, as well as our 12 volt power supply input connector. For systems equipped with optical edge detection, the two reference and screen optical edge ports can be found on the backside as well. Above the rear panel, you'll find our model number and serial number label. The MX200 digital readout supports a variety of different encoder interfaces, as well as RS-232 output of measurement data. Information on these supported interfaces and on communicating with external data collection systems can be found at some of the links located in the comments section below this video. If you'd like to be notified about future videos and overview videos of the MX200 digital readout, please subscribe using the link found in the comment sections below. Thanks so much for joining.